All right, here we are again. Okay, here we have a couple of a uh, couple of tough ones here. Uh, let's and so to wrap our minds around what's going on, we want to um, so uh, we want to digest this with uh, n equals one, then n equals two, then n equals three. We're starting at n equals one because it starts at one right there, n equals one. If it started at two, you'd want to start at two. Hint, hint for the homework. All right. Um, okay, so the way I'm gonna go about this, um, let's see, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna look at the case n equals one first. Okay, when n equals one, then we're looking at the interval from zero to one over one otherwise known as zero one. Okay, we can draw that out graphically. Okay, this is from zero to one. Okay, now let's look at n equals two. We're going from zero to one half. Okay. Oops, doesn't look very nice, does it? Okay. Zero. Two. So I'm going to put in my one there for reference, and then I have one half there. Okay. Now let's do n equals n equals three. We're going from zero to one third. I'm gonna draw this in again. Got zero there. Put my one half in there for reference. Put my one in there for reference. And now one third, let's say it's about like there. Now you may want to draw uh, n equals four, n equals five to really get your um, your mind wrapped around this whole concept here. What we're doing here. Now what we're what we're doing is we're going to union these things together, right? Uh, that's that's this. We're going to union all of these things up. All but we're going to union all infinitely many of them. From one, there's going to be one of these for n equals four, one for n equals five, one for n equals six, one for n equals a hundred, for n equals a thousand. Right, so uh, we're just going to keep looking at these things. Okay, uh, we're going to keep unioning these things. Now you can't look at all of them, right, because oh, stop doing that to me. We're not going to look at all of them because there's infinitely many of them and that would take basically forever um, all right but we can see what's going on with uh, uh, n equals 1 n equals 2 n equals 3 now for a union these so let's just look at 1 and 2 uh, remember the union is what's in 1 or what's in so the union so the union of um, let's see let's say the union of this set and this set is a set of all x such that x is in this set or x is in this set, right? So let's see. If you pick, If you pick x to be right there, is x in the n equals 1 case or is x in the n equals 2 case? Yeah, it's in one of them, right? One or the, one or the other or both, right? It's, it's, it's right there. If you pick x to be here, is it in one or the other or both? Yeah, it's in both. Right, so if you're going to put all this stuff together, and you can think of union as just putting 
all of it together. Uh, if you're going to put together If you're going to put together, um, let's see, if you're going to put together this set and this set all together, right, then you're going to have just this one, right? You're going to have it all together, right? And now think about, okay, so putting uh, the, putting, putting this one together with this one, we get this one here, right? Okay, now putting this one together with what came before, what we get this thing here again, right? So, so our answer um, is that we're just going to get everything. We're going to get this whole interval here. So we have the interval from zero to one. 